everybody. I'm doing a 60 minute session for a client's mother. I'm going to be supporting alleviating arthritis pain in the knees and the feet featuring an angel guide. I'm really excited to do this and I want to thank you both for the opportunity. Thank you also for your open mindedness to share here on YouTube. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, I'm going to read these goals here. We're going to get started. So this is a healing session for my mom's arthritis, which are located on both her knees and both feet. That's where the pain is coming from. And I'd like to feature her angel. Okay. Alleviating pain in the knees, the feet from arthritis, featuring her angel. Got it. Okay. You ready for this? All right. Just going to relax and tune into your energy field. Tune into your angel. But you have many angels. We all have many angels that are supporting us all the time. They don't have to sleep or eat like we do. So they're like 24-7. And what angel is supporting you right now with this arthritis pain? Right now, I'm still getting acclimated. I'm talking to your inner self. I'm talking to the universe. Okay. I'm definitely glad we've got 60 minutes because I feel like there's a lot of complex sides to this story, okay? It's not just a straightforward thing. Bam, it's arthritis. Bam, there's pain in the knees and the feet. Bam. That's all we got to do is just take a look there. Um, but there's so much more of a, a complicated path to why arthritis and why specifically the knees and feet and who's your angel that's supporting you and helping you with this. And I have to communicate with your inner selves because there seems to be resistance here and just letting that love, just like giving in to letting this love just help you, okay? Because you're going to have to, in a sense, it's like losing control of yourself to allow love and support to help you. And we don't often realize how we're like clinging to our consistent way of being, our consistent way of thinking, our consistent way of believing. Um, and we don't realize that that's like got this grip <laughs> and we don't even know that it's there. So we're going to loosen up the grip and we're going to give in to something bigger than ourself is basically what this is like. And that big something loves you unconditionally. I mean, purely <laughs> with so much light and so much love. It's, it's unimaginable. I mean, it would bring you to your knees and you would be bawling your eyes out because it'd be so beautiful. And you couldn't imagine being loved so much as that, you know? And so giving into the emotional state of receiving that kind of love and knowing how loved you truly are, and don't block yourself from that, right? You want to give into that. Why the knees? Why the feet specifically, you know? So I'm still in the beginning stages of learning about you and learning about your situation, learning about your angel. And it, it just seems like what I'm running into first is resistance <laughs> and letting the support and the love in. So we've got to um, just relax that on down and know that this is a safe and exciting experience. And then we do the next thing, okay? We don't, I don't even know what the next thing is. I gotta wait and find out. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's really hard for you to take a look at one of your angels, one in, in particular that I'm being presented with. 
Because what I do is I start with introducing you to a beautiful um, emanation of light. And then in that light, I, I just see how you're able to acknowledge it and to receive it and to welcome it in. And you keep it at a distance. It's like social distancing with, your, with one of your angels. <laughs> That's what it's like, six feet distance. feel like this angel could sometimes represent a challenge. And maybe the only challenge here is giving in to the love and support. Therefore, it's letting go of a, a state of control and structure and familiarity and comfort with love. I really like seeing this light of your angel because it reminds me of the sunshine. It reminds me of being younger. And the sensation of being younger is a feeling of freedom um, to run and jump, or ride a bike. Like there's feelings of freedom to move the body and um, hang out with friends. Like there's just this youthful state of, of, of being, thinking, feeling, acting. When you're younger, we're all kind of similar in that way. We have high hopes. We're excited about our futures. We're excited to fall in love. We're, um, you know, we're vulnerable. We're, um, you know, there's so many different feelings that are taking place. But, but I can feel that right now as, as an absolute gift to have that time. And I, I feel that gift in the light of this angel. And it feels nice. Oh, I see. So when I create the light of this angel, um, it's welcoming you within itself. So it's asking you to walk into its light. And then within its light, it wants you to experience being young again. <laughs> like 16 years old, something like this. This angel doesn't require any specific identity, as in does it need you to call it by a certain name or acknowledge that it's even there because it, it, it's doing it because it's like, um, what would be the best way to explain this? Imagine the angel is part of a collective of peace. And in that collective of peace, there's a million angels. And how would you define one angel of peace over another angel of peace? And would that angel of peace be doing it in order to get recognition? Or would it just be an angel of peace? I feel like when I look at this angel, I, I see many, many angels coming from the same collective energy, an angel of peace. And, and then I see one angel of peace, that I see many angels of peace. And the angel of peace is who we're walking into. The angel of peace, the body of the angel of peace is a doorway to a younger part of yourself. There's a lot going on in your head, a lot of thoughts. Um, because you're, re you're resisting it, you... You're not just going to do that because it seems ridiculous in a way, like like your mind is creating these ideas um, that it's kind of ridiculous to walk into an angel of peace and then go be my younger self and, and then everything's going to be fine now. But you see, that's that control thing. That's the resistance. Why not just let yourself heal instead of putting a shield up? Don't put a shield up on this healing, like let it happen. I feel like it's only a sign of emotions that haven't been nurtured. 
because these emotions get really tight and then they get really logical and then they create um, ideas that are going to keep you stiff, really. Just kind of like slowly but surely turning into a stiff wall, you know, or a stiff board. When, when you need to, we, these emotions need nurture. And when they receive nurture, you'll feel more alive in the spirit of who you are and more playful, more youthful even in life. So we're going to have to work on this. You're not able to just walk into the angel of peace yet, okay? It's like social distancing from angel of peace. <laughs> You're like not going there. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's okay. We all have parts of ourselves that are resistant. <laughs> so we're going to just let you be like the control police right now. And we're, we're just going to own it. Like we're going to own it to the highest caliber of being in control. And all it is is being afraid to give in to the unresolved emotions and to feel vulnerable. That's all it is, you know? So we are saying, okay, well, sorry, your angel's always going to be six feet apart. You're never going to be able to have access to this angel. Um, and you get to control everything in your life that makes you feel comfortable. Somehow that actually feels like relief. And you go to bed and you feel relieved that... Is it possible that maybe you felt one too many responsibilities to people? And to have some space gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Um, you can just be responsible for you. Maybe people are a lot of work. And somehow the angel of peace represents too many people that need, um, need too many things from you instead of just peace, you know? So actually nurturing that um, choice for resistance or control is actually safety and security. Because there's only so much that you can give of yourself in a day. Makes sense. So we're creating a time room for you. And in the time room, it's like a total vacation, however long you need, where it's just you in your own space, where you don't owe anybody anything, you don't have to do anything extra. It's just a time for you to just nurture you, okay? Now, I just want to emphasize, we have so many parts of our everyday self and some parts of ourself love talking and sharing with people and some parts simultaneously just need space, you know, and some parts, you know, like, um, I don't know, like watching TV and other parts want to, yeah, I don't know, cook something special and other parts want to go shopping, you know, it's just like we're kind of um, many things, right? So this is a very loud part of you that needs rest. They need separation from everything. It needs time for you to nurture you, okay, in your own space. And that's what we're focusing on, giving you that energetic experience. It is nice. It's like getting the best night's sleep of your life. It's like not having to do anything one day to the next. Actually taking like five months off from life and just in this energy space, what, what could only be described as sleep. Literally just take a complete vacation from life and just have the ultimate heavenly rest. And that's what's happening. And as you rest, I, I mean, it feels so many different things. 
because whew, whew, it's it's almost like uh, getting um, your energetic flow in rhythm, and it's just the inhale and the exhale, the energy air, the energy water. <laughs> it's like energetic light and sound and um, feeling grounded. There's like all these energy flows that we're, we're supporting in this ultimate rest. We're supporting getting them in rhythm, okay? And you in rhythm with, with it. You in rhythm with harmony and balance. You then in rhythm with peace because what if, what if the true mirror of yourself is you also are an angel of peace? And that's why this this angel of peace is a representation of of not only a guide to support you, but a memory of who you are as well. I feel like there's many, 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 many layers that we got to move through to really reach the inspiration for you, you. Believe it or not, everything that we experience, so you having arthritis and this pain in your knees and feet is beneath the surface of it. I know it sounds crazy, but somewhere in the midst of that, you, it was exactly what you wanted, exactly what you needed. Nobody wants arthritis. Nobody wants pain. So why would you want that? Like, why Why would any part of you say, that is exactly what I want, this is exactly what I need? I, I feel like somehow in the process you could say of life and all of the dreams that we are trying to manifest and all the hard work we're putting into our relationships, um, somehow, some way along the way, um, it's hard to keep up with everything. It's hard to keep up with all the exchanges, with all the responsibilities, and with oneself. And um, in order to get your attention, that hey, you you know we, we need to we need to find a, another way maybe to slow down. We need to find a way to bring in more peace. We need to find a way. so it's so it's like your body is trying to talk to you. It's trying to tell you something. Um, but if, if you aren't able to acknowledge it, or maybe you just don't have time for it, or you don't have time to make the changes, don't understand what those changes are, um, then you choose what you experience. You choose to continue to live with, with it. I know it's, it's kind of a harsh thing. It's just, it's a very harsh thing. Cause how, how are we to conceivably keep up with literally every fine tuned detail of every single moment of every single day over years and years of time? And then to just simply find a way to just snap our fingers and correct this. It's not like we want, we, we actually want this for ourselves. It's just we can't keep up with everything and then stay in peace and stay in harmony and all this extra stuff, which is what, why we're having this session, right? So that we can hear what the arthritis is telling you. So that we can give you a time room with, with, a, with the ultra, um, you know, the vacation with you and the ultra like heavenly rest, right? So we can rebalance all your, your energy flows and start getting to, to the root of, of why this is happening. Because even still, when I, when I tap into your rest state, I feel like, I feel wobbly, like a, like a top that's like spinning, but I'm like wobbling and I can't maintain my like perfect spin, you know? And if I can't maintain my perfect spin, things are getting out, out of whack. They're like getting wobbly and out of balance. So, so we need to just chill for a bit. We need to take the heavenly nap. And we don't have to be a top spinning because we're not going to have any responsibility. We don't have to do anything. We don't any owe anybody anything. There's no responsibilities right now. It's just time for you to just get back into the rhythm of you. You get back into the rhythm of you, okay? You as a mirror, as a reflection of the angel of peace yourself. You are also an angel of peace. Your true you. Still resting. (sighs) 
All right, as you sleep, and I feel all these energy wobbles and such, there's a, a presentation of a very large, kind of squishable energy that you're inside of. And that large, squishable energy, um, I meant to kind of relax it, relax your connection with it, and just let it just, it's almost like melt off your shoulders, like melt off of your body, it just, um, it, it's like, you don't need that anymore, it's just straight up don't. I feel heightened, uh, <clears throat> like the nerves are, oh. <sighs> heightened nerve activity. I mean, that's why I feel like I, I might be more tense than I realize. Like, how do we really relax it on down? We got to work on it. We got to work on relaxing. It's kind of weird. But yes, we, we do. When, when we get kind of tight and tense, we need to work on relaxing. Oh. 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 <laughs> Keep getting these chills down my spine and chills in my back because we're, um, we're giving oxygen, we're giving room, we're relaxing it on down, we're helping your nervous system to feel peaceful. The angel of peace is with you. You are also a reflection of the angel of peace. We're helping the nurse to just relax so you can feel rested, you can feel comfortable, you can feel peaceful. And that takes time, right? Because we're all so wobbly and you're also in the awesome sleep right now. We're still working on these things. We can't just bam, it all happened. We have to work through that, that energy. Whew. This big squishable energy. I mean, you're just like in a ginormous coat of squishable energy. And as I relax the 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 nerves, okay? As I encourage all of this balance happening, peace happening, this energy starts to um, loosen up around you, but you're still holding on to it for some reason. It's familiar to you. Still working on no need for resistance. Let's give in. Let's give in. Let's give in. Don't need to social distance from the angel of peace. Don't need to social distance from yourself. It's time for you. Time for rest. No responsibility to anybody but yourself right now. We don't need all this extra energy. It's not actually helping you. <sighs> Still relaxing your nerves. See what's all in the way before I can even get to your arthritis? <laughs> it's like, my gosh, there's so much more here. Feel inspired to um, place some super rich red colors into your your nerves and your back and your spine. For some reason, this is really um, helpful, and, and it's not just red; it's now orange. It's like all the rainbow colors are starting to appear here. So we've got like really rich red color, and then we have really rich orange, really rich yellow, really rich green color like cyan and indigo and violet and all this rich saturated color they're just going into your nerves going into your back going into your spine it's all about relaxing allowing the nurture in for you allowing the nurture in for you no need to resist the nurture that's there for you. Yeah, 
yeah, you know what? I think you're finally giving in. I'm really excited about this. I really want you to give in, like, no resistance and, like, see how far we can go into this awesome energy transformation for you. <sighs> Yeah, not so wobbly. Don't even have to be a top if you don't want to. You don't have to be spinning. You don't have to do anything. All right, if I go into your knees, there, there's a lot of unresolved material in here that it... We could call it arthritis, but there's other energy buildups. And I tell you that it... Just a moment here. So I'd really like to see other um, scenes and images in order for us to understand and interpret things in a new way. But it's very slow motion because we can only do one thing at a time. Because um, it, it only so quickly. Because I can't just force your nerves to just chill out. Like, just relax. Even people just regular people if you were to stand there and say okay i want you to relax right now and be like okay i'm trying like how do i relax uh, it's easy just relax just relax well it actually seems like it's not that easy you know <laughs> so we have to work through the process of helping your body relax and part of that again is getting out of the re way of resistance All right, so knees, tell me some stuff. Show me some stuff. Let's heal these knees. So it's, it's pretty neutral. And it starts off with a scene that's kind of like, I guess you could say splintered bone. But there's absolutely no pain. Everything's neutral. So it's just a picture. And it's not allowing me to feel the real experience. It's just keeping it neutral. Again, you're, you're, you're controlling. Like, don't, like no control and no resistance. It's just allowing the presentation and the flow of, into the next experience. And it's okay how I want to look at it and how I want to perceive it. I feel like there's a lot of emotions here as well that need to be really processed, really digested, really felt. Because you're a human being and your feelings matter. You're not stiff as a board. You're, you're flexible, you're limber, you're loose. I um, put my finger on some of these splinters and I say, ouch, I can imagine this must hurt. And I, and I, just, I just say that and I emanate my vision and my experience to you. You don't want the angel of peace to come in here yet, by the way. And we're not talking about your conscious mind because of course our minds are gonna say, of course I want that, but subconscious. So beneath the surface of your conscious mind, there's a whole other world of what you're ready for, not ready for. And it, it has a lot of power for what, how it dictates our comfort zones with, with anything, any experiences.
And that part does not want this angel of peace in here. And maybe it's shame. And, and so I, I present that as an idea. I say, is it because maybe the angel of, of peace in some way would, would be judgmental, even if it was not, might feel that way? Maybe you would um, hold it upon your own shoulders that it, you're taking on too much responsibility for the outcomes. Like, like it's embarrassing. Somehow as I talk about the angel of peace, I start to see it appearing here. And then its hand touches these spiky parts, like splintered parts, and says, ouch. Hmm. You stand here with really stern eyes. You stand here like I didn't. Uh, it's like, what are you doing in my house? I didn't let you in. Why are you in here? Get out. So again, there's just um, residue parts of your subconscious or parts of your ego um, that don't want help. You can help yourself. You don't need help. Again, anger, it's just unresolved emotion. Maybe there were times where you ne really needed help in your life and nobody was there to help you. And so you had to be strong on your own two feet. You know, the weight that uh, was at your knees was really the emotional weight of your personal responsibilities. Um, it's just you're very bold and very, um, again, you, just, you don't just want to give in and let this help in yet. Even though you're doing a better and better job of giving into it, just takes time to get used to this. Hmm. Angel of Peace is really sweet. Shows the splinters are turning into straws. And um, pulls the straws out. And the straws are like kind of fun straws and they have little swirly colors on them. And we put the straws to the side so there aren't any splinters anymore. But everything that's up and down is getting turned to its side and it's right to left. And it's, it's just really... It's not correct. It's not correct. So we're saturating your right and left knees with rainbow colors again. Relax the nerves down and the spine and the back muscles, all that. And then we're going to do this for your joints, okay? So we see really rich red colors, really rich orange colors in your knees. Whew, really rich yellow colors. Really rich green colors. <sighs> really rich cyan. <sighs> really rich indigo blue. And really rich violet colors. And I, I, parts of you are coming out and they're screaming and they're angry. Nobody told you to come in here and fix this. Because it, it's embarrassing that you couldn't do it yourself. That you couldn't fix it yourself and that you needed help in order to accomplish it. It was embarrassing for this subconscious is embarrassed that you are not enough to fix all of your problems in your life. 
that you would have to be that weak that you would need help. So you've got some stubborn sides in your subconscious that that feel like they're strong enough or intelligent enough or passionate enough to to solve all your problems, but not everything can be solved. Sometimes you have to live with what is on not something you can solve, you know? I still feel like there's a lot of layers here to this and it still feels like we're I would like to move quick more quickly but we are moving quickly this is each and every step of the process we've already made um, incredible strides here with the energy of resistance So we hug these uh, stubborn parts of the subconscious and we say, you did everything right. And you've done an amazing job in your life. And don't be so hard on yourself. And they start to turn into teardrops and become a bunch of water. And it starts to tingle up my, like my hips and my back. <sighs> Feel a lot of good tingling sensations. Feeling tingling sensations also in my legs too. In the back, specifically the back parts of my legs, my hips and my back. <sighs> and it feels nice. <sighs> You're still in a really amazing rest phase, by the way. And we're starting to see some black kind of build up. That's also embarrassing. It's energetically you express embarrassment about it. And I say the angel of peace does not judge you. And do not judge this. Do not judge yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up or beat yourself down. It doesn't want to leave. That black residue doesn't want to leave. It's, it's kind of like a black moving shadow. Some of the thoughts that come to me. <sighs> what if the best way to um, be your strongest self so that you could move forward in life? Like every step of the way you can move forward in life. But when the conflicts came up, what if you stored those energies in your knees and that just got that energy out of the way, but all it did was just put it in an area until it would come time that you'd have to reconcile all that stored up energy. Then it would just start to feel like arthritis. And you don't need all this energy buildup. That's why it's got kind of a mind of its own. And it's gross. Like when I start to to pull this out, it's rubby. It feels like it's rubbing on bone, and it and it feels really painful. This is good because that means that there's no new, neutral. That means that you're opening up more, and you're um, allowing me to access more. Because I should feel this kind of pain. I should feel it as intolerable. All right, I've got this out. I've got definitely have it out of your right knee, but the, the left knee, there's still a little bit of residue still there. So this black shadow, I um, put it into the, the light of the angel of peace 
which is an energy body full of thousands and thousands of angels of peace that create like rivers of light of peace. And I place it into the embodiment of the angel of peace. What a nice thing to do, you know? Take this like energy residue and put it into the angel of peace. Like it, it doesn't, it's actually, it, it's like breathing new life into this energy. So I'm, I'm now placing a, a layer of what looks like the angel of peace over your right knee and I need to look at your left knee. It's like one part of you doesn't want things to heal. It wants to have a reason to struggle for things to be out of balance. Because if things just heal, then it's just, it's not, it's not meant to be that easy. It's meant to be difficult. So we're just touching that little bit of residue with our fingers, like fingers of light. And I also feel that squishy energy that you've been inside of, again, still loosening up and letting that go. And it's going to go down into the earth. I'm going to go into your sacral chakra. It seems like it, it keeps calling for me to um, do some healing and some nurture here. This is crazy. I'm taken to a space. This is your sacral chakra. <laughs> and this is what is presented like. Where the ground is, this is the sky and the sky is the ground. And people live in both the sky and on the ground. The ground is above your head. The sky is at your feet. And it's like a weird alien planet is what it looks like. Everything's upside down. Things are not correct. Things are not um, balanced. Things are not the way they should be. It, it feels, energetically, it feels like this. So I'm going to turn things in the right direction, and that's going to feel pretty dizzying, just so you know. So now the ground is what you stand on, and... The atmosphere is, is where your head is, like your head is in the atmosphere, you know, so to speak. It's in the air of this planet, and your feet are on the ground. But for some reason, this creates a lot of aches in your knees and in your feet. And you would prefer that your body, it's like that the gravity is not pulling you down, that the gravity is making it ache for you, that if you could stand in the sky, there would be no weight, there would be no gravity, there would be no pain. And this is in your sacral chakra. This is a unique place for me to see, um, to see this kind of message. But I tell you that it, what I appreciate is that you're opening up more and more to the way things really feel, the way things really are, and not trying to hide or shield yourself, but just be completely open. Because the most honest that we are is the most authentic, is the most interesting. I 
still a lot to go. Like I, I mean, th this is quite an interesting um, development for you. So let's take a look at your ankles. Okay. So I'm putting an angel of peace over your left knee and then um, an image of the angel of peace uh, over your right ankle and your left ankle, okay? And you're reminded that you don't have to do any hard work right now. Just let us do the support for you. And I see you're still resting in the heavenly rest state. Embarrassment. I mean, that's still a part of um, the knees, but it, not so much because we've exposed um, exposed some things. I, I'm starting to feel it also in the ankles. Hmm. All right, here's another scene. We're continuing to uh, create peace, okay, in your ankles. Um, I see um, a gray fog. And in the gray fog, it reminds me of the third eye. And there's a, again, scene of you in a, a complete rest state. But this is more like the mind is tired. It's like uh, being awake and being tired. I'm going to go to that sleeping self. I'm going to wake her up and see um, how she's doing. She says she feels more in tune with herself. And she she speaks, she speaks like um, an aware, like somebody who has a higher awareness, a higher understanding. Again, a sense of, of peace, inner peace, and peace with oneself, and peace with one's self-expression, working with the angel of peace that is working with them, you know, but you yourself are a mirror of that, so you can look in the mirror and say that you yourself are an angel of peace as well. There's power to doing this. I still feel the exhaustion in the mind and the brain and the third eye. But I don't feel that wobbliness. I don't feel like all these crazy sensations trying to get it balanced and harmonized is actually in a, a much more comfortable and consistent flow. So I'm placing the angel of peace in your third eye. And I'm placing the angel of peace within your heart. And I'm placing the angel of peace within your emotions. And I'm placing the angel of peace within your throat. And I place the angel of peace within your root chakra. like placing it into your feet, okay? And I'm placing an angel of peace into your crown chakra, which is where all the big ideas come from. That your mind then gets to process it and think about it and decide what to do with it. If you're going to talk about it, if you're going to 
um, relate to it at the from the bottom of your heart if it's gonna make you cry it, you know so it's it's like all these chakras are impacted here and we're putting the angel of peace into all your chakras front and back above and below within the angel of peace is above a blow within and around you and you are one with the angel of peace And when you say, I am the angel of peace, it's not like, um, it's just choosing to identify with peacefulness. It's not like um, saying something that's obtuse or ridiculous. It's actually a powerful thing to say. It's just like being a child again and wanting to be I don't know, pretend to be whoever you wanted to pretend to be. And you could say, okay, I'm going to pretend to be this person. So I am this person and this is what I'm going to do. And then you can pretend to be that person. And it's something interesting about um, getting to be an angel of peace, getting to be playful with the idea, getting to know yourself as this emanation as well as to get to know um, an angel in your life that is an angel of peace is really comforting. It's like the weight does not need to settle on your knees or your ankles and the responsibility does not. You don't need to wear this coat of responsibility and um, the nurture and the love is for you, um, helping you, supporting you. The peace is here with you. You are this peace as well. It's really clearing your mind. It's really activating your senses. It's really getting you in motion. You feel alive. You feel like back to life again. And without um, kind of this grip, like this resistance, it's more like, okay, okay, yeah, I can, I could try this. Yes, I could try this. And, and it's okay. It's easy and it's fun, you know? So now that you're integrating into the emanation of the angel of peace, you yourself are, you're already in the door, right? <laughs> so the social distancing got out the window. Like You're in the door of yourself as the angel of peace. The angel of peace also there as a guide helping you, right? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But now we're in the door, so now we can see your youthful self, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I don't know why I just I feel like laughing I feel silly I feel like ticklish in my nose like I feel ticklish in places I feel ridiculous I feel like laughing I feel like I'm, <laughs> I have a helium balloon voice like I'm talking funny and I'm laughing and giggling and being silly and like a little kid it's like Man, if I was 16, I'm really acting like more like a seven-year-old, you know? I'm acting really, really silly, okay? I feel silly. I feel like laughing. It's <laughs> like being really funny and laughing. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. Like, I want to be happy. This is really impacting your heart. <sighs> Again, relaxing the nervous system, specifically in your back and your spine, okay? And how that goes up your neck and into your head and that, how that goes down into your legs and your hips, right? And it's just really relaxing and relaxing the muscles. Again, we're taking the responsibility out and you get to be a child. And it's interesting because the child is happy, but then slowly but surely starts to say, but I want to be happy. But I say, but you are happy. There's some confusion about um, the child being happy for the child's own self. But then the child um, make, making happiness happen, like the child is making people happy. Um, a child is seen, is understood, and gets to be happy and gets to make others happy. But then something dims of this. 
sort of like natural equation of being a child and being playful and happy and then making others happy is kind of like part of being a kid, but it's something shifts and it's like, I want to be happy. So since when is the child not just naturally happy, now wants to be happy? Um, so somewhere in the natural happiness transition into this weird sort of gray area, I want to be happy. So again, this is in the angel of peace. This is inside yourself. This is like your inner child. This is in your heart, the heart of who you are. I want to be happy. But your natural state is happiness. But if we're in the gray area and we're, we're saying, I want to be happy, then we're not naturally happy. So we need, we need to explore this. Because this is also having an impact on um, your knees and your ankles. Again, you see how we're working through these emotional states and emotional identities. I'm going to let your inner child make make me happy, okay? Because I feel like your inner child actually wants to make the people around you happy and in a way would then would be responsible for their happiness, even if that's not true. You're not responsible for anybody's happiness and they're not responsible for your happiness either. It's kind of a complex... Um, that's like a human complex. <laughs> that's, a, that's a complexity right there. But that kind of creates the heart to sink into the emotions. And what are you if you are not to make others happy? And then it doesn't make you happy. But I'm going to let you make me happy, okay? So you can see that you are naturally happy and here I am smiling and enjoying your happiness is making me happy. And you are right on track with being a bright and happy kid and emanating that um, inner peace and, and angel of peace uh, through your like shining bright innocence, you know? You're kind of like, mm, don't know if I can trust you, uh, don't know about you. And I give you a helium balloon and I have one too. And then I just like suck in the helium and then <laughs> and I just start saying funny words. And I just like start giggling and I say, you try. And we start to realize like, the, it's like, like, why do we have to ask permission to have fun? You know, like, why do I have to give like, you know, why do you have to be safe to just enjoy your helium balloon? Like, why do we have to be like, do these like checks with one another? I'm just gonna enjoy this helium balloon. I'm gonna say funny things. And if you want to join me, I would love it. <laughs> and so you do, you take some helium into your childlike self. And I don't know why, but there's like a pretzel twist that's appearing in my head. And you're creating like, pretzel twists. I don't know if that's your words or you're, you're doing funny things with your voice or your tongue or something, but I, I start seeing pretzel twists. Maybe you don't know what to say because you seem kind of like you screwed this up. <laughs> and I take one of the pretzel twists that I'm being shown and they're perfectly salted and they look like super good. And then I, I they're like soft doughy ones. And then I, I take a big bite and I say, mm, I love this pretzel twist. How'd you do that? How'd you make pretzel twists? And you're like, I don't know. I know. And you say it with a funny voice. And I was like, oh, you did it. You just said something silly. And you, you like kind of turn red and you're surprised. And I'm like helping you come out of your shell because you shouldn't have a shell. Like it's kind of silly to have one. You can be you and you can be loved for you just the way you are. Somewhere in there, there was some uncertainty that you could be loved for being you. And yeah, you totally can.
And I see yet another, another layer of this angel of peace. And it's there holding your hand as this child. I see a glimmer of its face within the heart of this child of yourself. I see it in your smile. I see that you are giving me peace. As I give you space to be yourself, you start to be yourself and it creates peace inside of you. And then I get to rejoice in the peace inside yourself. So you are also giving me the angel of peace as well. Like you're just doing that naturally. And I say, oh, wow. So when you feel peaceful inside yourself, you, you give peace to others without even trying. And thank you because I feel like I just received an angel of peace from you. And that's <clears throat> also what I experience is your angel and, and is also a reflection of you too. And we're kind of rising up out of a deep, 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 deep place inside yourself. And you glow with light and you grow with rainbow colors and you're starting to get acclimated to something strange and different about how you can experience being a human being and being alive. And that it could be creative and childlike and playful and fun and peaceful. It doesn't have to be a rigid, a board, a stiff wall, right? It can be flexible. It can be playful. And I feel the circulation, you know, of harmony and balance. I feel that circulation is really nice. And I feel your, your nerves are actually really relaxed. Um, I feel there's more uh, energetic flow into your knees, into your ankles. It's like taking the responsibility out. It's taking memories that you had to store in these little shelves in these little places. Um, it's bringing the angel of peace to those memories. It's bringing the angel of peace to yourself. And you, you are feeling tuned in. You're feeling a new sense of understanding and well-being. And I don't feel that resistance. I don't feel that like grippy control in the social distance because you just needed some rest. You just needed some, some heavenly rest and some time for you without any responsibility to anybody else. And some recovery for your inner child and your energy flow and some reflection of angel of peace, you know? <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed doing this. <sighs> I know this is going to help you feel better in new ways. Might even help you get some interesting good night sleeps. Thank you for this opportunity. And thank you everybody for watching. Again, if any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.